Here's how you can have some fun with some poppets. All you pretty much need is a straw and the most time consuming part of this is actually creating a target. You don't really have to but I like to challenge myself. This is just a piece of foam board. Cool, now that my target is ready and in position, here Awesome SB will show you how to shoot some poppets. All you do is load them into the straw, put your lips around it and then just shoot by blowing air inside. Of course, try to aim at your target. It's loads of fun guys. You might not think so, but you can recycle an empty deodorant container and turn it into a cool shooter. You can remove the bar if it's still in there. Ideally, we want this to be completely empty. Pens is what we'll be shooting, but since we don't want anybody to get hurt, we'll have to attach some eraser caps on the ends. These will act as padding just in case you hit someone by accident. As you can see here, they're being held on by tape. On the cap of the deodorant, we are going to make an opening large enough for the pen to go through. Cut a white rubber band and glue it on the cap just like I'm doing right here. It looks like a little bow and arrow. For better grip, you can glue the cap onto the deodorant container. Once dry, we can load up our pen and pull back and release. You can definitely have a lot of fun hitting targets with this toy. It's also a great way to recycle an old deodorant container. What I have here is a piece of velcro and what I like about this is that a tennis ball will actually stick onto it. So if you're ever bored at home, stick some pieces of velcro onto a wall and from a distance throw a tennis ball towards the velcro and try to stick it on. It's definitely a challenge which will add to the fun. If you don't have any tennis balls around, use a racquetball or any ball for that matter, just stick another piece of velcro onto it. It's just as fun as it looks guys. Next up, I'm gonna take a cap off of this mini deodorant and turn it into a small toy car. If you do this, you'll need an eraser that you'll have to cut two pieces from, about this size you see right here. These will hold our wheels once we hot glue them on. At this point, you might have noticed a fidget spinner on the table. Well, I'm gonna pop off the bearings. You'll need four of those. In the meantime, I'm gonna decorate the cap with some tape to make it appear like a windshield and windows. To attach the bearings on, you'll need some push pins. These will work just fine. The wheels should stay put and now you can play with your little toy car in class or at home. If you want to get creative, put an LED on top to make it look like a police car. This LED I got from a light up fidget spinner. Again here we are going to be using a mini deodorant stick. Since this one is full, we have to pull out the bar. So twist on the bottom so we can empty it out. Using the height, try to determine how much you'll have to cut off from a spiral of a notebook. This we will use as a spring. So let's cut it off and remove it from the notebook. With some hot glue, attach it inside the deodorant. Center it as best as you can. Once it dries, we can hot glue the cap on. The cap needs to be upside down though. So the purpose of this toy is so that we can play some basketball in class. Keep a pencil cup at a distance and load up an eraser cap. All you do now is push down and release. With some practice, you should be able to make a few hoops successfully. You can even challenge your friends in class. You'll definitely kill off some time with this toy. Let's play more basketball and this one is much easier guys. If you have a cap such as this one right here, you can attach it onto a wall. All you need to do is hot glue a push pin onto a binder clip. Then clip that onto the cap. Lastly, locate a good spot anywhere on a wall and pierce it on. From a distance, you can create some paper balls from a notebook that you no longer need and just try to make those balls into the cap. Again, you can challenge others to make things more interesting. What SB is holding right here is a snake in a can. Once the lid is removed, the snake pops out like I showed you earlier in this video. Basically the snake is a large spring that is decorated to look like a snake. So with that, we will be creating a tennis ball cannon. Here we have a tennis ball can. Inside it contains three tennis balls. Let's get rid of those for now as we are gonna make some adjustments to the can. First, we will drill two holes on the middle of the can. Make sure they are parallel. The idea here is to be able to put a pencil through both openings. At this point, we can take the snake and hot glue it inside the can. Slowly push the snake in, use a tennis ball to do that. To hold everything in place, slide the pencil through the can and now we are done. 
When you're ready to shoot, just aim and you can release the ball by pulling out the pencil. As you just saw, it was a pretty weak shot, and that is due because of the ball's weight. Luckily, I had some plastic jack-o'-lanterns, which is the same size of a tennis ball, and this one shoots pretty far, so you can pretty much shoot anything that will fit inside this can. <laughs> Lastly guys, we are gonna be making another small shooter using a straw and a wide rubber band. You might need to shorten the rubber band depending on the size of the straw. What I'm gonna do here is glue the rubber band onto the straw. This of course will be used as the launcher. Since the straw is pretty long, I'm gonna trim it and load up my pencil inside. On the end of the pencil, place an eraser cap for added padding. Just in case you end up hitting somebody, it won't hurt. This shoots really far guys. Another way to have fun with this is if you put a small magnet inside an eraser cap and glue it onto the pencil. You can directly shoot at the fridge and it should stick on. Here's some more target practice using cups. Check this out guys, here you see three cups and I'm gonna make two disappear, just watch. Pretty cool huh? Have fun. There you guys have it, 15 simple toys you can easily create with household items and school supplies you probably already have.